Greetings, y'all. It is Matt from the Green Arcade. Good morning. How's everybody doing? We're back on this fine Saturday morning. And uh, we're going to be looking at a new map. We're going to be looking at Wild West 16X. Not really a new, new map, but it's a new to us map. Um, it's new. Um, we played it. Me and Phil uh, played it back in... Uh, back on 19 a little bit there have been some changes to it uh there are some updates already in the works for it but this is the uh the first release i think it came out uh, thursday night uh so uh we're we're, we're a couple days uh, past it being released uh but yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this new map do a first look at it uh kaz 64 one of our favorite map makers uh, we started with uh, his 4X Kiwi map back on 19. That was the first 4X map I think that uh, we played. That was, I think it was the first one that was made available. If I don't, if I remember right, um, played that one. You might remember uh, Old Country Life, the one that had the fertilizer mountain and the limestone, or not limestone, the lime cave. Um, all kinds of good maps have come from uh, him. Uh, old timers. And, uh, oh lord, I can't even remember them all. A lot of good maps from him. Uh, you console people might remember Luca's Island. Or, um, Rustic Acres, I think. Or, um, uh, Almost a Farm. All of those. I think those came to console. So, uh, yeah, with Kaz64, he's done some great ones. This is his Wild West map. I will say, I think this is the biggest map that he has done. Uh, this is a 16x map. What does that mean? That means it's 16 times bigger than the standard size map. Uh, so a way to put it um, into terms, um, and I've, I've always been confused on the math on this because Elm Creek is a 2x map, and I'm trying to remember back. I don't know if Westbridge Hills, and I'm, I'm really rolling back the clock now, Westbridge Hills, it, was it a 1x or a 2x? I can't remember. Uh, but basically... Elm Creek is a 2x map. This is a 16x map. You could literally fit at least I don't I, you know and, and this is where I get confused on the math. If it's a 2x map, you could fit eight Elm Creeks in this map. If it's a 2x map, I would think if it, if it was 2x, you could fit eight of them in here. If it's a 1x then you could literally fit 16 of them in here. But Elm Creek is a 2x. So maybe you could fit 8 Elm Creek maps into this map. So uh, I know before they had said uh, Field 44 up here in the northwest corner up here, uh, you could fit, and it, they might have, there's Traxy. You might could have uh, included 77 and all them, but this whole corner up here from the interstate up to there, that was the size of a standard size map. So that would be about right. Uh, if you look at this map, if you fit eight of them in here, that would be pretty close because it'd be like one, two, three, four across the top, and then five, six, seven, eight. Unless it's you know the other way around, like like it's a one X or something. But I would think with the math, you know, being that way, it's either sixteen times the size of a two X map, which means you would fit sixteen Elm Creeks in here, or you could fit eight two X Elm Creeks in here. Either way. It's a huge map. Let's get to looking at it. Um, good morning, the lightning. How's it going? So this is where you start. Uh, some of you might remember this from 19. <clears throat> you start. There's like this little um, this little hill up here on the top. Now I will say this, and I've already said it. The update is coming. Traxy, what are you doing, girl? Come on now. Lay down. Um, there is a little bit of lag when you first start this. Uh, this is the the version one, I guess, of the map we could say, um, and there will be some lag, additional lag as we explore the map. But when you first load in, it's 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 very laggy, at least for my machine it is, and I know it was for old man too. Uh, let's bring old man in. Sound resumed. Good morning, old man. Good morning, sir. What do you think of this huge, ginormous map? A lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> it's a big map. It's so big, so huge. Did you uh, see the toy that's sitting right here by the tree? The what? Oh, there is a toy there, isn't there? Uh-oh. Do we have to collect toys again? 
Maybe that's just one. I don't know. Yeah, that that might take a while. Yeah, if we have to collect toys on a 16x map, oh my gosh, that'll be nuts. So uh, we're gonna take a look at this and uh, see what see what all we can get into here. So you come down this road here, you know, from the house. And this is where it really got laggy to start with, was out here in the homestead. It's it's better now. I will say, if you if you walk around like your homestead and the animal areas and whatever other areas you're going to go explore, uh, once you go back to them, the lag is not as bad because I think it's loading the shaders in and stuff like that. So um, he's already released a statement saying that he's going back and doing an update uh, as far as like shaders and stuff go. He's also going to do a uh, silo extension for this silo. This, I think, is the only multi-fruit silo. There is multi-fruit on this map again. Uh, he added rye, millet, rice, and carrot. So if you want to do those, you have to keep this silo. Uh, for all the other standard crops, uh, I don't think you, uh, you, you, can, you can upgrade their, you know, downgrade. I don't even know how much this holds. Can we see? Does it say? Is that in the store? That would be under the build tab, wouldn't it? Oh, uh, let's see. Silos? Would it be under here? Yeah, here it is. Uh, this holds 2.5 million. Uh, and it looks like there's another one here that holds 5 million. So... Yeah. Yeah. That looks a little smaller and it holds more. Um, but yeah, if you want to do the multi-fruit, you have to have his silos. Uh, or one that is supportive of multi-fruit. Uh, but the other ones, the other standard crop ones are in here too, so you could place them as well if you wanted to. I don't want to place anything right now, so let's get out of that. So yeah, he's very generous on starting you off with equipment. Looks like he's got some uh, mid-range equipment here. Uh, plows, cultivators, stuff like that. Got a telehandler there, mowers, all the, the baling stuff. We'll probably be swapping that out before too long. Um, and that's another question that begs to be answered. Do we play this map? This is a 16x map. Uh, I would say this map would last until the end of Farming Simulator 22. So, but it's it's nice that it's it's come out so soon that he released it so soon because we're only two months in to Farming Simulator 22. So we've got plenty of time to play this map. So that's that's one plus. Search you off with a truck. Ooh, that's a good one too. It's the old Mac with the American flag and the eagle on the side. And then a couple of super bees there, I think. And then we start out with some tractors. We got a cloth here. Tear track. We got a fence over there. Uh, we've got a JCB and a cloth. Another cloth. This is a smaller cloth, I think. Yeah, the Axion. Well, you know, that, that's the big cloth, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. So this is the homestead. Now going elsewhere we might experience some lag, but he has put productions onto this map. Of course, you know we started productions with 22. Oh yeah, that's another thing. The saves, they take a second. Actually, they take about 15 seconds as it stands now. When we get to work on stuff, that'll probably take longer. <laughs> when we do start doing trees and, you know, expanding fields or something like that. Well, really, we don't really need to expand fields that too much. Really don't. The fields are big enough as they are. So pricing is uh, pretty standard, I guess. All right, let's start off with what we uh, what we what we own. Like I said, he put productions in. There's some extra stuff out there. Um, you got uh, tanks and stuff out there. Riverwood Farm. There's the Y Mart. There's the bowling alley. I don't know what this is. It's just another another sell point or production point, I guess, looks like. I guess I could check on that. Let's go to see if he added anything in here. Oh yeah. There's a lot of stuff added on in here. Let's see. There's a large sawmill. Sawmill. Well you know what? These came with a sawmill pack. Uh, he did put his TMR production uh, stuff in here. 
He's got a pig food production thing in here, so that's good. Uh, he has made, I think he is or has made these as placeables. I want to say that I saw where maybe they did that last night or this morning where they actually made these as placeables now. Uh, and then we got our basic stuff here. And here, here's some extra stuff. There's a dryer. There's a refinery. I guess like an oil refinery or something. Uh, there's a tomato juice place. That's different. I um, guess we can take and do tomato juice. There's a stone factory. So I guess we could take our stones there if we wanted to do that. Moonshine. You can do moonshine. Uh, looks like there's a couple for moonshine, actually. Uh, there's a pig food factory. There's the tree nursery. And that's it for productions. I wonder if we added any selling points. No, it looks like there's... Looks like all the sell points are about the same. So there's that. Oh, don't want to place one. <laughs> so yeah, all kinds of different stuff. It's really, really a big map. I mean, just, just running across these field areas out here. It is huge. So there's the bowling alley. Then you got the Weimart over here. Don't know how to get in there. It's all fenced in, but there's the Y Mart. The Y Mart looks like the older Walmarts in the front. I've started noticing that. Yep, yeah, that's right, Hurricane. There's a moonshine thing. Oh, look, here's a little uh, thing up here. One of those little guard towers. I'm going to run up the guard towers just so you can guys can see the vastness of this map. It's very, very big. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. I always get stuck going upstairs in farm sim. My guy must be uh, putting on a little holiday weight. Ooh. Come on, don't get stuck. You're not that big. Here we go. Uh, so yeah. You can just look out and see how big this area is. You can't even see all the way across the map. It's that big. It's really, really... It's a 16x map. Good morning, uh, Seymour Biscuits. How's it going? It's just huge. It's got a river that runs through it. So yeah, so this area up here, you can just imagine field 44 and I guess maybe include the 70s and all this all the way to the interstate. This whole section right in here, basically it, it might go a little past that line right there, but this is the size, all of this right in here is the size of Elm Creek. That's insane when you look at this like that, to think that. So... And I know 17, I think 17 is probably, field 17 is probably about the size of maybe two and a half to three M Creeks, maybe. So, crazy, crazy, crazy. We'll run up here. So you start out with uh, field 11 over here. Field, uh, what number is that? I can't see it. I have to zoom in on them. So basically you start, if you start on New Farmer, which we do on every map, and then we put our economy on easy. Start with Field 7. There's a little grass field over here to the east. Uh, you have the, the homestead with the animals. And Field 11. So that's what you start out with. Uh, the cheapest fields are right over here. Yeah. So they may look incredibly tiny on this map. But when you get over to them... They're actually, they're, they're not bad. They're not a bad size. Uh, and these are the cheapest ones. Uh, 54, 60,000, 70,000. I think they go all the way up to 77, which is 101. Yeah, 101,000 there. Got some huge forest areas, all of that. It's, it's been updated a little bit. So, uh, is it worth to buy a DLC? If we ever get our first DLC, yes, it is worth buying it. If you're really into the game, if you like the game, it's definitely worth it. Uh, 
How much is this field right here? I'd, I'd say this would... That is 660000 So yeah. I kind of want to play it, and I kind of don't, because, I mean, it's it's a it's a chunk. It's a, it's a big, big map. It's a chunk to chew. I know Phil and I played it back in the day, you know, and I told him, I was like, you know, I think we should probably stick with some smaller maps because they're 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 a bite they're 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 really a, a chunk to chew off here because there's a lot and the fields are so huge they are just ginormous let me go into flight mode and see if i can show you guys I'm still learning flight mode for 22 by the way so here's the the small field south of our farm and it's no small field it's huge Fly down south here real quick. Shop is right over here. If I can zoom in and see it. There it is. There's the shop right there. So this is where all your equipment comes. Uh, you can buy all the land. So that's one plus about this map that I like. Um, do you have Zerion pack? I don't know if we have a Zerion pack or not. You only play No Man's Land, okay. This would be... And I need to, I don't know, I need to confirm this with the, the sizes of the maps. It's either 8 No Man's Lands or 16 No Man's Lands. This is a 16x map. So I would assume No Man's Land is a 2x map. So here's field 17 down here. It is a big, 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 big field. <laughs> it's really big. Can't even see all the way across it. It's so big. I mean, you can't see. I'm assuming there's trees over there on that side. Yeah, there's trees on that side. They're now loading in. It's so big that you can't even see the other side of the field. I know uh, it's bigger now than it was. Because this road right... I can't point to it there. Let me go back to the main map. This road right here... I believe was actually over here. Like right over in here somewhere maybe. And I think they have scooted this over. So field 17 is actually bigger than it used to be. Um, and they got rid of this mill down here. And now all the stuff, most of the stuff is up north of this interstate line there. So... Yes, you do need a fairly decent PC to run these big maps. I will say this PC, it's you know, it's got the 1080 Ti, it's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's it's been a good PC. It's going on. It'll be four years old this summer, but it lags with this one pretty 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 bad uh, until you load the shaders in. And like I said, he's working on an update to come out with that, but it runs it pretty well. I gotta say, it seems it seems pretty smooth to me. I'm I'm running and jumping now, and I'm not lagging at all. But when I first loaded in, uh, I did uh, lag a little, quite a bit. So uh, I would say you would want something, you know, pretty pretty decent to run these big maps like that. Am I going to play this map? That's a good question. I think we'll I think we'll uh, I think we'll try it out. I think we'll try it out and see. Um, we'll see how it goes, and if it becomes too much of a chunk to chew, then uh, we'll stick with something smaller. So, but uh, it's it's crazy because we're we're waiting on another map that's also a 16x map, and it's the Yukon River Valley, and I'm waiting on an update for that map as well. So, we have this one that's 16x, and we have that one that's 16x. But this one this one's going to require you know. Quite a bit. Quite a quite a bit. Oh, the push mower? No. <laughs> no, we're not using the push mower. Not on this map. This map we're gonna have to go either probably with the Kongs or you know something bigger than probably the Vicons, you know. We'll see. But that's the like I was saying, it's the beauty of this map. You can own every part of this map. There's no restriction, you know, like on the base maps, like on the like on the Giants made maps. You can actually own the interstate here. If you zoom into the interstate and click on it, see it lights up, 
you can own the interstate on this map. Plus, you get a lot of little extra little properties out there, like the uh, the off ramps and on ramps and the uh, little. Uh, I actually don't know what these properties are. These may be like the stores and stuff down there. So you can mow like the store's yard if you wanted to. Uh, you can buy the land that it sits on. All the properties are purchasable. Even the lots like behind the shop there. We bought that before and I think we put a little farmstead down there. But everything is purchasable. And that I think is the biogas for 66. That's just the land. Uh, you, if you buy the biogas, you know, you get the electricity and all that stuff from it. Uh, that is just the land. So you can buy, actually buy the land that the biogas sits on now. Hurricane, this is the one map that we wouldn't actually have to plant trees. There's already, actually, let me, I'm going to go show it to you. So there's a forest on the east side, and then there's a forest on the west side. I'm going to go down to the forest on the west side, because this is where the sawmill's at. So you can sell logs here. Uh, let's see. Jump over these little things here. Here's the sawmill. So they actually made this building the, the actual mill now. And then the other building like on Elm Creek, it's just nothing. I think it's just an outbuilding now. So this is actually the sawmill now. If we go across the interstate here, uh, I'm going to run up the interstate here. So here's the median in the interstate. Like I said, you can buy this. And you know what? You can mow this. You could either mow this grass or plow it up and plant um, plant with like a smaller cedar. Plant some grass down the median here and you can mow this and bale it. That's the beauty of it. You can mow the freeway. That's all I want to do on Elm Creek is mow that freeway. Because there's so much grass out there. Uh, so here's the, the corner of the forest up here. I'm going to go to the map and show you where I'm at. So here I am, right here on the corner of this forest. This is, uh, it's split by a river. Uh, but I'm going to show you how big this forest is, Hurricane. You can see it goes all the way down there. And it goes way down there, way down the, the interstate. But I'm just going to run out through the forest. Now keep in mind I have the running cheat on so I can run really fast. And yeah, there's deer out here, so we'll probably see some deer. But I'm going to run super fast, well, as fast as I can through this forest without hitting a tree. Yeah, we don't need to plant any trees on this map. You can see how many trees there are out here. I'm still running. And I'm running fast. I feel like that, that, that scene on Return of the Jedi, you know, where Luke is uh, flying through the forest on his speeder thing. So it is a huge, huge forest. I'm still running through it, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not to the other side. It is a huge, gigantic forest, and here's the river. So that's just half of the forest. This is just half of the forest. See a yeti? No, I didn't see a yeti. Was there a yeti? And then you know you cross the river here. Go for a little swim. And then there's even more forest on the south side. So this is the this is the other half. There are so many trees out here. There's actually kind of an opening right here. Look at that. Makes it more realistic, I guess. So many trees. You, we do not have to plant any trees, Hurricane. These are a mixture of uh, spruce and pine. So here's a fully mature spruce, and then there's a pine can't even see all the way up into them. There's so many of them. I'm lost. Help. Um. Told you you could get lost in here, old man. I think I have. Okay, which way is the sun rising from? That's the east. I need to go east, right? Or wait. It rises in the southeast, so I need to go this way. Help! I got lost in the woods! Yep. Nope. Yep. Okay. I'm on kind of a right track here. But you can just see 
how many trees are out here. And it, it's doubled on that side, so. And then, like I said, this is just a west forest. There's an east forest, too. It's not as, as big as this one, but it's still pretty big. Like I said, the sawmill is uh, right over here. So huge map. Um, yeah, they got the wooden bridges. Those are actually the wooden bridges from uh, Elm Creek. Just they've, they've supersized them. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. I wish McDonald's still did that. I wish they'd supersize stuff. Everybody got all, oh, we need to be healthy. But no, you can't supersize your thing at McDonald's anymore. So there's some there's some hilly fields out here. Let's run across a few of them. Oklahoma down the wind comes sweeping down the plains. In me, smells so sweet. I don't know all the words. Big fields, guys, though. So this could be what? This could be Kansas or Oklahoma or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, Yuleberry, it's more like a real forest that way. They're not like all in rows. They're just kind of just randomly out there. So, more like a real forest that way. I knew that uh, Kaz would take advantage of these new trees, and he has. Uh, I really like them. Surprised they didn't put the palm trees back in the base game, though. You know, you know, there's gonna be modders wanting those palm trees back for like the tropical islands or tropical maps or whatever. So, what do you guys think of the map? Does it look uh, look pretty pretty decent? Pretty uh, I'm still I'm still trying to run home. <laughs> and this is usually where I start experiencing a little bit of lag is when I get around the animals over here. And it may just be because there's so, yep, there's some lag. This, uh, this TMR producer thing might cause a little lag or something, I don't know, but... Got so much going on over here, too. So what do you think, old man? Uh, if we play it, we need help. You're really quiet. Can you hear me now? Yep. There you go. If we play it, we're going to need help, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. We're, we're, we're accepting applications. Uh, uh, please go online to www.thegreenarcadejobsassistancefair.org. I don't think that's a real site, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. We'll be, we'll be looking at probably more helpers. So, I know Farmer Nick said that uh, he would like to come in and play sometime, so. All right, so that's the map. It's 16x map, and the saves, like I said, they take forever. But we'll just uh, we'll just deal with those. Cue the Jeopardy theme. Okay, uh, let's go look at contracts. Contracts are pretty interesting on this map because the fields are so big. You got some big contracts. So you look at these. Look at look at how much these pay. You've got some really, really big contracts. But again, that goes with really big fields. So, 294000 for fertilizing. Um, just heard something. Thought it was a, I think it was my chip bag. I had a chip bag over here. It kind of collapsed down. Um, there's a 449 for 42 for harvesting. Um... Really, really decent contracts out here. There's Spring Field 60. Um, but to do these contracts, we're going to need big equipment. This small stuff is not going to cut it. Uh, so, like I said, we do start out with a couple of fields. Uh, we start out with Field 7 and Field 11 here. And I'm trying to click. Why can't I click? I'm not on the right thing. There we go. I was on the AI worker thing. So you start out with field 11 and field 7. 
Uh, field 11 is actually ready to harvest. Uh, it would be nice to have field 8 just because it's like in this block of our homestead and like it surrounds our homestead. So it would be nice to have that. Uh, but I think we need to start selling back equipment. We're going to need some beefy tractors. Um... So, we'll just, I tell you what, we'll just sell everything back and buy what we need. Buy what we need, as we need. Uh, you know what? We don't have to drive this down to the shop. I just remembered something. I think I still have that, uh, yeah, I still got the mobile workshop thing on here, so I can just sell everything from the yard here. Uh, let's see. We will sell that. Alright, I'm just going to go through the shed and sell everything. Hit the right button. So we'll sell. We're gonna sell everything, all the equipment that we own. We're just gonna sell it all and start fresh. So like I said, we need some big stuff. Okay. Let's see. I hear an engine running somewhere. It's probably this telehandler. Yeah, I was gonna take it to the shop. That's okay. We can just sell it all from here. We don't have to drive it down there. We don't. We don't lose any money using the shop. So, or using this deal uh, I gotta get right on it here we go hey there's that shed let's go ahead and sell everything we're gonna get new mowers We're, we're making a little money here to help with the cost of that. I know we're probably going to take out some loan, but we'll, uh, we'll we'll do some contracts and then see where we stand. Well, come on. And we're not done with Elm Creek. Uh, we, we probably won't be done with Elm Creek. Elm Creek is, like I said, that's our home map. And... Um, we will be back over there. We'll be back over there tomorrow morning, I know. For sure. The old Kloss Combine, the Lixion. Should get some decent money back for that. Yeah, 423. Alright, this shit is clear. Oh, I forgot the Elmer. We're going to sell the Elmer. There's bigger and better auger wagons out there. We'll go ahead and sell the truck. I like the truck, but you know, we'll just go ahead and sell it. Sell the trailers. Alright, this shed is clear. We're going to basically just start new. This is the, uh, the Terra Track cloth. We're already up to 2.7 mil. Look at that. And then the uh, the fast track here. Sell it. Whoop. Hopped into it. Some of this we may buy back, but we'll, uh, I think we've got a tanker left over here somewhere. Somewhere down the road here. Yep, there it is. Okay, so, we don't have anything else, right? Nope, we don't own any vehicles. So we made it up to 2.9 million. I would say probably the first thing we should get would be a fertilizing rig going. And we're going to want fast tractors, right? So we're just going to go with the large tractors. I think the JCB is the fastest, right? Yes. It goes 43. So we'll get one of these. There's really not much options when it comes. You can do different brands.
The only one you can really customize is the uh, the Michelins. We'll just put standard Michelins on there. And we do definitely want GPS on these. Uh, and no license plate. So we'll keep that. Uh, so this will be our first tractor. Alright, we're going to want a fert rig. I think fertilizing and spraying is probably what we're going to want to go with first. So let's actually look at the uh, the self-propelled sprayers. I'm looking for them. There they are. Uh, oh. There is a cus there is custom equipment that does come with this map a little bit too. Uh, there's another Rubicon in here. So this holds it actually goes 68 instead of 31. And it holds anywhere between 9,000 and 50,000 liters. Wow. I bet you can change the color of it, too. Nope, you can't change the color. Wow. Really would have thought you could have been able to change the color on that. But you cannot. You can change the capacity. So there's beast, triple, double, and normal. So normal is 9,000 liters. Uh, double is, of course, 18,000. Triple is 27,000. And beast is 50,000. Wow. That's crazy. I don't know. What do, we, what do you think, old man? Should we go with the OP sprayer or do the in game one? Go big or go home. Go big or go home. All right. So GPS, yes, we'll put GPS on it. No license plate. So we're going to put the beast on there. It's 50,000 liters. wonder if the rate's different. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. So that's 506,000. Whoa. <laughs> it's a chunk. All right, so here's the sprayer, and here's the uh, thing. We need the FERT thing now. Uh, actually, there's one little tab up here. It's a new tab. You get the... Um, this is the multi-crop uh, version, I guess, of maybe like the Ropa, maybe, or something. That It's the Tiger. Um, you can do carrots with this. Carrots is one of the new crops with this map. Uh, they did rye, millet, carrots, and something else. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, though. Rice. Yeah, it's rice. So. Alright, so we need a furt thing for that, don't we? We'll just go ahead and get the big one. No license plate. See, I love it. It's no license plate by default. I love that. So we'll buy one of those, at least one of those for right now. And, uh, yeah. So, I guess... Do I need to buy some pallets of stuff? Like some herbicide. And probably fertilizer too. Let's buy that many, and that many, and that many, and that many. Okay. That'll be enough to start there. And then we'll do herbicide. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, uh, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. I've done lost count. Twenty-six, <laughs> twenty-eight. Um, you know what? Let's just stop there, cause I've done lost count. There's probably a bunch. Yeah, there's a lot. When are we building the moonshine place? That might be a while. Might take a minute. Ow, 
that even lagged to turn my lights on. Might be worth buying a truck and getting a tanker. Getting a, getting two trucks actually probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So I guess we can just go with design one. Actually there is a license plate for that one. That's the Wild West license plate. Um, no. How do you, uh... So there's the Wild West license plate. I think we're gonna stick with... Yeah, we'll stick with that. That's fine. That'll work. The truck should have a license plate. So we'll buy one of those. And then I think I'm gonna go to design two. Which is the American one. We'll buy that, put GPS on it. And we'll get some additional trucks before too long. Uh, but we need a tanker. Let's see. Is that under miscellaneous? No. What's that under? Is it under animals? Will that hold herbicide? It does hold herbicide. So we'll get that. Change the main color. We'll put black on for herbicide. Leave the rims alone. Leave the license plate on. And then we need the convey all, right? What is that under? Is that under auger wagons? Yeah. We'll get the convey all here. We'll just leave that color the same. So we can fill that up with fertilizer. Might take a minute to uh, fill up with uh, herbicide with this, like this. Might have to get some placeable uh, tanks to uh, to fill up, or well, some that you can just buy it from, maybe. Tell me you can fill those bags into that thing without having to, uh, oh gosh. Tell me you can just drive up to the bags, beside the bags, and fill it, fill that up, right? We don't have to have uh, anything extra? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, this goes 68 miles an hour. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to need more herbicide. We'll see where I'm at here in just a second. to build GPS lines too, aren't I? I think so.
All right, so I've got 36,000, so 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. I need seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where'd they go? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, they're on the opposite side of me. And I don't remember how much that tank holds. It holds thirty-two thousand, so it would fill it would fill it up just a little past halfway. I was gonna say they didn't include a um, like an OP tanker. You need more bags? Do you want to fill this trailer up or? I mean, we don't have to, I don't guess. You already put the, filled the uh, spreader up, right? Yeah, the uh, spreader's already filled up and I got three hoppers here already filled up. Okay. Um. Yeah, we can go ahead and fill it up. I'll get some more bags. One, two, three, yeah, maybe four. No, we don't have fast heads. That's the only thing we don't have. So that tanker holds 32,000, so it needs 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 16. 16 pallets fill that tanker up. Alright, I am full. So, I guess there's nothing to it but to do it, huh? Let's see, fertilizing contracts, let's see, let's just go for the big hitters, so field 39. And then, we'll just start with one of each, how about that? Yeah, sounds like a plan. 526 on field 60. Well, even that's laggy. Except in a contract, took a second. <laughs> so I'm going to field 60. Where's field 60? Oh, that's way down there. Okay. So I'm going to make you a north and south line, and then I'm going to make me an east and west line. Okay. Oh, hey, here's a nice little road to do it on, too. So activate GPS and we gotta create some stuff, so come on. Oh you know what? That's not what I wanted anyway. Let's do ninety. Oh you know what? I didn't set a size, hang on. Gotta turn all this on and set up a size. Point four nine is what we're looking for. There we go. All right, there's the ninety. Let me go in and name that. I was gonna say we don't really need any diagonal stuff on this one. There's the east-west line. Turn that off, and then we do a north-south one. Uh, let's 
Let's see. Hitting again. Nope, I want a hitting. Come on. And we will do 180. Because that's south. Back over here. Should still be on 0.49. Back out of that. We should see our line there. Yep, there it is. So we will go in and save this. North and south. So we'll add that in. And those should be our basic two lines. Because if you look after this 15 second save, I'm going to drink some orange soda during this 15 second save. Mmm. Good stuff. Now the pictures on here, guys, these are people that I think helped create the map, so all the contracts have different pictures now. Um, if you look at the map, there are not really any diagonal fields. All the fields are either long ways north and south or long ways east and west. So we really don't have a need for that until we get maybe like down to 26 maybe or something like that. I don't know. And even then we might uh, change that up a little bit or something. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to go spray. An old man is uh, working on filling up the convey all and he's going to, I think you're going to go fertilize, right? Yeah, I'm going 39. 39. All right. I'm heading down south. Oh boy, this thing gets. So yeah, I haven't been down this way yet, so I'm probably going to see a little bit of lag, especially around like buildings and stuff. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it lagging. All the the shaders and stuff are loading in here, so got another gas station. There's the biogas plant right there, so we'll, we'll know where to take our bales to. And, um, yeah, it's like 20% of the map. Um, the, um, I was going to say, the, uh, the bales, I think, we don't need to let them get to be too many, so I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and sell the bales. Uh, and then maybe, the, like, the last cutting of the map, keep those bales. So you know how we have like two or three cuts a year on the grass? We will wrap those and then sell those, uh, you know, for each harvest and then hold on to the ones at the end until maybe like December or January until it's time to really get a good price. where I turned? Yep. So one thing that uh, is noticeable, there's a little drive right here. And you see this big like little grass indention into this field. This is where the mill set. This is where the grain, the original grain mill was. So it is no longer there. All of that has been moved. So these are just some really, really, really big fields out here. There's field 17 over to the left. Uh, it's really hard to show it to you, but I mean, it's, it is ginormous. Maybe if I zoom in a little, it is a really, really big field. It'll be a, it'll be a long time before we own that one. Long, 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 long time.
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unfold. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Somebody put this field in potatoes? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's one contract we won't do. We'd be playing Farm Sim 28 by the time we got done doing potatoes on this. Especially if you use the in-game equipment. Alright, let's see. I need to set up my line. So, let's turn that back on. And I need a new button for auto width. I keep having to go in here to do auto width. 39 cent potatoes, too. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, this would be enough to supply all of McDonald's in America with french fries. <laughs> Hire a worker for it? You'd still have to keep them empty, though. So. Alright, let's see how much I use here. Oh, wow, this thing sprays at like 40 miles an hour. Okay. This is a little strange. I'm not going to lie. This might be too OP. <laughs> oh, boy. It's still going to take me a minute to get down there because it's a long field. Hope I don't run out. Wondering how much percentage I'm going to use per pass here. So yeah, don't know how long we'll be, you know, here. Uh, we're going to try it out. And um, see how it goes. If it's too much of a, of a chunk for us to chew, we'll, uh, we'll, just, we'll just call it a day here. But... Okay, I'm at 94%. Not there yet. I do like that this goes fast, though. That's that's kind of nice. It's burning through it like a bonfire, though. This very well could go to 90%. It could be 10% per pass, which I'll probably have to come back and refill. But uh, we'll probably hold off on trees for now until the, uh, the update comes out. And he is working on an update, so... We'll just, we'll own the land that we own, you know. And we'll, we'll, we'll keep our balance of money, you know, as it, as it is. Okay, there's the end of that pass. Woo! Tokyo Drift. <laughs> and then there's a lot of grass around the fields that we can mow, so really don't have to expand the fields that much. All right. So, yeah, used right around 10% per pass. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm definitely going to have to come refill at some point. Boy, I am flying through this field. And it takes a while for the data to load in, so... I put it on soil composition. We'll wait here for just a second. There it goes. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm probably going to have to fill up twice. But we'll get, what? 
what, 500 grand, five, how much was this one? $526,000 to spray this field. I think that would be well worth it. Just need a contract for field 17 now. I don't know what that'll be next, but... There's some, uh, there's some decent ones out there. We can harvest oat for 449. Wonder how much grain we would get bonus off of that. Be a good question. Mm-hmm. This is uh, Wild West by Kaz64. It is a 64... It, no, not, not 64. It is a 16x map. This is the uh, the Wild West that was in 19, and he uh, converted it and redid it a little bit for uh, 22 here. Mm-hmm. Hey, Dr. Phil, how's it going? And stop. So actually, I, I got the 82 there, so it's not using quite 10%. Good Lord, that is... You have to skid to turn around at that speed. Check on old man up here. Again, gotta wait for the map to load. So, standing by. Or you know what? Hang on. Let me do that. Cause you still have to, you still have to switch from something else to something. Either turn something on or off, or move back and forth before the map loads up. Or maybe I have to let the map load to that category. Yeah. And then go back to that and let it load. That's what you gotta do. So you gotta wait. Switching it there and then switching it back. And then turn weed off. Probably gotta wait for that. Yep. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be a minute. <laughs> You're on a wide swath too, aren't you? Oh man. Did we lose him? Breaker 1 9. Oh man, you got your ears on out there? I think we lost his mic. Yep. There he went. We lost his mic. He's having some mic problems. User joined your channel. There he is. Welcome back. Thank you. I was going to say, you're on a wide swath up there, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, this is going to take a minute. Yeah, I was going to say mine's going to take a minute. It might be worth just to hire them out. 
until they run out, I guess, you know. And then have us just have us be like the filling guys, like come and fill them up. And off. Whoa, turn. This is insanely big. And this is not even the big field. The big field's over there. Trying to see. I don't think there's any contracts for 17 yet. You'd know it if you saw it, because it'd probably be a big price one. Yeah, no, there's nothing yet. Wait. Oh, there's a save in there too, apparently. What's the price on the big field? Uh, it's up there. Let me go look. I want to say it's um, 20 something million. Uh. Yeah, $24.6 million for Field 17. Which, you look at it, I mean, it's the biggest field on the map. And it goes around there, but the big chunk is out here, so... That would be a great cotton field. The only problem is, is like the bales. We would have to um, either sell some, or have like a bajillion spinneries. <laughs> so, maybe we do both. I don't know, we'll see. Knocking it out though. That's why I said we had to get the big stuff. For fields like this to do contracts on them, gotta have the big stuff. Well, the only downside to putting them in a storage barn is there would be so many bales. We would have to have several storage barns. And, I don't know, maybe if we spaced them out on the map, we could get away with it. But, having too many bales, um, I think would cause a great, considerable amount of lag. I know John over at Puma Plow, he had, um, yeah, it'll wreck the game, pretty much. You're right. I know John over at Puma Plow, how many bales did he have? Is anybody watching his? I think he had over 800. I want to say somebody in chat said he had like 860 bales. Uh, was it? You're right. Yeah, yeah it's 865. 860, yeah. Um, basically, his, his uh, frame rate went down to like... Nothing. I mean, that, it, this is just crazy. I was watching the stream, and it was just it, it it hurt me, just watching it. So, you 
You know what we could do, Matt, is get another fertilizer and another sprayer. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, hire those out and work the same field at the same time. Yep. Let's uh, do that. Get another one of these. Do another beast. I'm just make them make them the same as what we got. And then we'll get another tractor. Just keep it standard. Uh, this is the one we really don't need a license plate on. So we will buy that. And then get another fert rig. Where's my guy at? I was going to say, oh, did I hire that? Nope. I thought I hired it there for a second. I hit the back button too many times. Yeah, what we'll do if we do when well I say if if we when we do bailing when we get to it on here. We'll see how it goes. Uh when we get before we get to that point. But um we'll sell the bail wow. We'll sell the <laughs> sell the bales as we go. And um like I said, the last cutting maybe. And maybe like if we get in a cotton, we'll save those bales for um for the, the winter sale or whatever or whatnot. Uh, it's going to be a while before we get there, though, because that's to get into cotton, we're going to have to have a lot of cotton harvesters. And those have a pretty price tag, so... Let's see, I still need to buy the first thing, don't I? Yeah, I'll leave one on that one. So, I'm going to hire this. And I am going to go pick up the new sprayer here. Need to buy some more herbicide. Yeah, definitely going to have to get some placeable tanks.
Gotta make sure he's still moving down there. Looks like he is. Is he buying it? Hmm? Because we're losing money. Yeah, we are losing money, aren't we? Is your guy hired out? No, I don't have that option yet. No, I got my guy hired out. Maybe that's it? Yeah, we're burning fuel. We're burning through money like a bonfire, aren't we? It's probably because he's going so fast. May have to get a Stevie sprayer. Oh, is he not using? He's not using herbicide, is he? Hang on. That may be the setting. One setting I forgot to. Uh, yeah, he's buying it. Hang on, we'll turn all this off. Okay, now. Come on, save. <laughs> now I shouldn't. See, he turns around slower than I do, too. Yeah, that's much better. <gasps> yep. Yep, we uh that's one setting I forgot to uh turn off. this herbicide guy down here. Get him out of the way. This guy's full. I'm gonna drive this guy up there and let him help you. Okay. Great part about this map, the GPS you can turn on and use it on the roads too. So now I've got my north-south GPS line, the .49 width, set on the road here, and he won't move from that line. This would probably be a good map uh, to use the uh, helper mod, too, or the in-game helpers. The what one? The uh, in-game helpers that uh, can drive to... Oh, the AI? Locations. Yeah, the AIs. Yeah. Wonder how that would work on here. If it, if it, if it depends on if the if Kaz put in like. I'm sure there's some type of like line programming on the roads and stuff that they have to uh, have in here. Good morning, welcome in. Are you American? Yes, I am. Like the tractor? Yeah, we got it because it goes fast, and we need that on this map. Got a little lag going on every second from the hired worker, I think. Uh, 
Let's see now, I need to go up here and then make a right. You know what I could have got? I could have got those front tanks and made these that have just a little more capacity on them. That's true. Oop, I missed my turn. And now I have this set up where I can just rotate my GPS on the 90 and let her rip this way. Yep. When I hire, that's the only thing about these maps is when you hire a worker, you get a little bit of lag every second. So you can really notice it if I spin the camera real fast. It'd be like freeze, freeze. I had this issue back in 19 too. Freeze, freeze. Oh, you know what? I should really be looking forward. <laughs> hey, old man. The tree's, the tree's fine. The tractor's fine. I'm fine. Everybody's fine. A little uh, concrete pad out here, isn't it? No, another save. Alright, I'm gonna hire this guy on this side. Make sure I'm getting all of it. Looks like I am. Savage, how's it going? Looks like he's missing a little bit there on the end, isn't it? Need more herbicide. Let's see, how much do I need? 30,000, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I need 10. No, no, don't unfold. Need 10 pallets. I can get into the right menu. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh, well, that's feeling I'll get this trick.
Alright, run this on down south and get it started and then I'll take the tanker down there. Alright, got that one hired. This guy's almost empty, so let me go up here and get some uh, more herbicide here.
And a wolf. Take 16 herbicide pellets to fill up this tanker. Wow. So glad I put GPS on these trucks. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to put down some type of silo, Tyler. Uh, we'll we'll look for some type of um, some type of herbicide silo or something. I know they have the end game ones, but those you have to fill up yourself, right? I think those you have to fill up yourself. We need one where we can just buy it from it. Save.
Where we're at. Did he turn around right there? He was coming this way. Yeah, he turned around right there. I wonder why he turned around right there. Huh. He's only got 3% left. Hope he makes it to the end here. We'll see why he turned around down here. Cause he's not completely out. He's, he didn't run out of herbicide or anything. So right here somewhere. Right in front of me. Um, yeah, I see no reason for him turning around. I don't know. Breaks.
I honestly think the other guy might get done before I get this thing filled. But not even all the way. It's only got uh, 32,000 liters in this uh, tanker, so. I don't know held 32,000. Yeah, I had a little bit left over. That's right. Um, I was on this line right here, wasn't I? Yep. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't do that. But he certainly turned around right there in the middle of the field. Yeah, he even stopped short right there. There's still a little bit there. I don't see anything. There's no border lines. None that I see anyway. Hmm. He left a little bit right there. I don't know. Knocked it out there. Guess I'll hire it out on the next pass and see if that uh, does it again over there.
Hello, which your best large tractor? Um, well, we just started, so we've got we're using a um, the JCB fast track. Well, if you're asking what is the best large tractor, depends on what you really need it for. But I say if if you're doing tillage work or something like that I think this New Holland is actually the best I think it gives you the most horsepower 682 horsepower uh, 670 horsepower on the deer actually no the uh, Steigers looks like it's the best maybe 692 yeah 692 on the New Holland 692 on the Steiger Yep, he did it again. Why is he doing that? Same spot, too. That guy's still going. He is stopping in this field for some reason. Guess I'll just have to stay with him. Do GPS. Stopping right there. This guy's having no problem. Must just be something out here. I don't know. There's nothing on the thing though. Which is weird. Normally you see like a borderline or some type of object or something, you know? Oftentimes, you know, when we cut trees down, we'll leave stumps, and they'll they'll see the stumps, and usually it's an object that makes the higher worker turn around. But there's no object out there. None that I saw, anyway. I don't know. Well, I wish I had a box of donuts right now. That sounds good. Like the bakery donuts, you know? Yeah, that does sound good. See, I think this will be the last pass for me down here. We should finish this for too long. Oh, here comes the game save. I knew there was a reason why that wasn't loading in. How to break farm sim. Load a 16x map and actually play it. Say so you're about almost done wrapping things up up there. Yep, looks like there might be one more pass there. Unless it says I'm finished before then. I'm going to go back to contracts map here. I'm at 91%. There's one 
for 50 moon. No, that's 61, isn't it? 61, 59. I don't see one for either of those. Whoa, Traxy. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. She fell off the chair again. Hmm? You know you're going to spend all nine of your lives doing that, Trax. You okay? Hmm? Huh? You okay? Hmm? Maybe you need to go sleep on the couch in there, girl. Yeah, he'll make it to the other end. Go ahead and fold this up. I say there's not any in game things, is there? There's these things, but you have to fill these up. We need something that we don't. Is there a herbicide tank? There's a liquid fertilizer tank. Stainless steel fertilizer tank. Is there not a herbicide tank? In-game herbicide tank? gas tanks there may not be an in-game herbicide tank no no 98 yeah um Tyler said there's one at uh, a multi-liquid buy station at King Mods. I want to say there's one in the Mod Hub, too. Oh, there's my contract done. Money! So that's 526000 We're back up over a million. It's not bad. go over the river.
Yeah, it needs to be cleaned. Going 40 miles an hour, spraying herbicide through a field, though. I think that'll do it. Good morning. Uh, how's it going? Uh, yeah, no, there's not one. Okay. Uh, yes, John should be streaming today at uh, noon central standard time. Twitch.tv slash Pumaplow. Uh, yeah. It's pretty dirty. You can see the dirt in the floorboard down there. Pretty dirty. Well, there's a unique bird sound. I ain't never heard that one before. Did y'all hear that? Was that in the game? That was in the game, yeah. It was like... Oh yeah, we're making some money now, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah. Did I pass the homestead? I passed the homestead, didn't I? Well, there's the shop. Well, I probably need to go in here anyway, because we're out of stuff, and we don't have a, a buy station. What am I hitting? Alright. We are going to have to find something like that. There's a $17,000 cultivating contract. Wish we could get that on Elm Creek. Alright, let's see. Gotta get that, that guy out of there. Gotta get this guy out of there. I'm going to sit with this guy for a second. And I'm going to take my first break, guys. I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to sit with that guy. Um, we'll just sit with this guy for a second. And I'll be back in just a second. See you soon.
Welcome back. And I'm back. Welcome back. So let's see this guy. Got the empty animal pens there. Turn weed off. So this guy, I don't know why he st did you stop him? Maybe he ran out. He did. Oh, um, my guy did. Oh. All right. For some reason, this guy stopped. back out here. Hopefully he's not missing. Let's see what else is out there in contract land. Nothing refreshing. Uh, field 53 is not a bad one. I think there's a placeable herbicide tank in the mod in the uh, in-game mod hub. I think there is. Let me look on the other thing here and see. You want to rehire that guy out? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this was your guy. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking for him.
Uh, I've been looking into this map. Can you see what the PDA looks like? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's bring that up. Uh, hang on. It takes about 15 seconds to save the game, so... It may just... I don't know if that's my computer or if that's just the map. It is a 16x map, so... it. Uh, it I would imagine it would take longer. Okay. Let's go back up here. And it takes a second for the... Uh, the screens to switch like from crops to growing and all that so there is the uh, the map PDA map it is really really big field 17 is a monster down there I'm a little disappointed the only field planted in soybeans is field 7 uh, one we already own so I guess that's a plus but uh, normally, uh, on the first round, all the fields are planted in something. Great map. Big map. Elm Creek, in comparison, Elm Creek is a 2x, and this is a 16x. So... Yeah, it, it's a it's a great map. Um, he's he's actually coming out with an update. He's working on an update to the map as we speak. Uh, he's gonna work on some of the um, the shaders, and there's a few little issues with flickering and stuff. Um, so he's trying to, I guess, maybe optimize it a little bit more, and then he's gonna release an update uh, pretty soon on it. They're getting closer. <laughs> I almost wonder if it would be better to have spraying fertilizer rigs on these on these fields. I was almost thinking the same thing because don't they have a bigger working with well they have a bigger working with but the op rigs probably fert faster too and they hold 50,000 liters of uh fert so wonder if that would be better than these because these you know are base game these are you know they're going to go 11 miles an hour and they have actually a pretty wide width on them but might be better it might be better and quicker to uh just have spray rigs to do fertilizing too tell you what let's see are there any what other fert contracts are there right now field 69 Well, the summer of 69. I love that the fields blink now so you can see where they're at, but I'm not seeing this one. Where's it at? Oh, there it is. It's way over yonder. So I'm going to buy another spray rig. Get another OP one here. Quite a chunk, but we'll make our money back. Move this out of the way. And then, I never did really, let's see, 50,000. So I need... 25 
Are they 2,000 liters too? Yes, the fertilizing pellets are 2,000 liters. So let me get... I need 25 of these, right? Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. That's a lot of pellets. Yeah, definitely gonna have to get a tank. It may cost more to have a tank, but it will be much more convenient. Hey, Traxy. Yeah? What's up? You fell off the chair again, didn't you? Your game would have froze? Uh, my game is having lagging, having some lag uh, issues, so. But there is an update coming, so we're going to hold off on anything, you know, tree-wise, tree logging-wise, anything that, you know, field expansion, you know, nothing like that. Actually, I, I have no plans to buy any acreage right now, like in the immediate future. What's up, huh? Traxy, I wish you could play farm sim. I'd give you a job to do. You can go fertilize this field. Wouldn't it be weird if my cat could play farm sim? I think she'd want me to plant catnip. It would make for good content. She'd probably sit there and do donuts. She'd probably just spin around in the field and do donuts. She'd be like, I want chicken, I want liver, meow mix, meow mix, please deliver. Favorite map on FS, uh, where did we get the FS22 version? Uh, we got it straight from the mod author. We got it from Kaz64. Um, you can go on uh, Facebook and get it straight from his Facebook page or group. And hang on just a second and I will um, find out what that is here. Uh, let's see. Am I on the right one? Uh, it's actually a group. You can join the group. Uh, Farming Simulator Tailor Made Maps. T A Y L O R. Join that group and, um, it's on Facebook.
get all his updates through there. He's got, I think he's working on placeables for placeable TMR mixes right now and stuff. He's working on an update for this map as we speak. So. That's the best way to do it, honestly. If you're on PC and you really want mods, but you don't want the risk of, you know, getting mods that are terrible or, you know, have viruses or stuff like that, the best way to do it is get it straight from the mod author. Whether it be Kaz, whether it be DJ modding, whether it be um, custom modding, Sid, JHHG, you know, whoever. Just get it straight from the author themselves. That way, you know, you're, you're not getting something that's been uploaded by somebody else. And, um, you know, because people do do that. They, they'll they upload mods and put themselves down at the author or not give credit to the author. And they'll make changes to the mod that are not, that are not stable, that have errors in them and stuff. And it's better just to go ahead and get, uh, get the, um, the mod straight from the author. That way you know you're getting the, the quality mod. Alright, so I got some fertilizer now. We're going to test this theory out. Slow down, cars! Woo. So if I go down this road and I hit I-95, uh, yeah, I can go over the interstate and turn right down there and hit that field. Can't wait to cut these trees down, though. Honestly, I really want to level these fields out. I really want to landscape them flat. That's going to take some money, though. It's going to take some money and some doing. And some time. And some time, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't have the brooks, so any logging that we do will have to be like legit logging. So we're going to have to load trailers and take them to the sawmill. And I mean, we've got time. There's, there's plenty of time. And the update's not out yet, so we'll wait for the update. I am getting that stuttering lag though. I don't, I, I'm assuming it's from the hired workers. Hopefully that new PC won't make won't be like that. Looking forward to that. Oh, there's a tree.
All right, we'll hire that out, and then I'm gonna go get this. Okay, so yeah, see the flickering? I don't know if you guys can see that on the road there, but I'm assuming that's probably some of the issues that uh, he'll fix. See the flickering in the road there? It's in front of us and behind us. Oh, my master's behind us back there. Yeah, it's it's a nice it's a nice really big map. It's really too much for just for me and old man alone. Hoping Phil will come in maybe or I know Farmer Nick said he might come in and help on some. Um, kind of hoping with the uh, the Yukon map update maybe we can play that with uh, John over there. Hey Matt, you want to stop these hard workers? Yeah. Are they done? Yeah, they're done. Okay. Field 39 is done. There we go. Yeah, that takes a minute to accept on that one, too. I'm not getting anything refreshing, though, so... It's another spring one on 53, wherever that's at. See it. It's over there, kind of in the direction I'm at over here. Yeah, you know, four four people would be good. Like I said, we'll be back on Elm Creek tomorrow. I just wanted to get a, a first look of this map, and then we'll kind of either go from here or wait and see what the update ho holds, and um, try to. Uh, make some decisions if we want to play this map or yeah even this field out here you know a lot of these fields have these dips and stuff in them that one that one over there man look at the hill on that one that one's got a big hill in it that would cost a pretty penny to uh, landscape down I would say just park these here for now. See how this liquid fert thing is going to go. It's a horsepower on this tractor. Three hundred and forty-eight. Not much, is it? I feel like we need a uh, a big fent. Just 
Just keep standard wheels. Put the big horsepower on it. We don't need a uh, license plate on the tractors. That's not bad for this big fence. You know, they charge more for the uh, for the John Deere tractors. This is only 330, what does it say, 382? And the John Deere ones and the, the big Magnums and stuff like that, they're, they're more than that, aren't they? Or am I just crazy? Get this one. And let's see the mowers. Oh, there they are. Don't know whether to get the Vicon or the the Kong. Kong is bigger. Quite a bit bigger. I'll just go ahead and get the Kong. We need a baler too, don't we? Is anything on sale? Wow, there's like a long sale list. Oh wait, that's because of all the equipment we sold back. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. We got a really long sale list here. We sold all that back. We want to do round bales or square bales. With square bales, we would have less bales because they are larger in size. They're almost double in size. The only thing is, we would have to do the separate wrapping, we'd have to do it separately. I almost hate to say this map of square bales. Because, number one, we can stack them vertically. I don't know that that's better, but number two, they're, they're larger in size. Maybe I should start going that way. Or start down here. Yeah, no, that's pretty narrow. Maybe I should start. Maybe I should start up on this north side up here. Well, let me um, buy the other stuff. Um, square bales. We want to go with probably. Hmm. See, we have a New Holland over on, um, we go with a case. Which is it? Probably take a little loan out here. Uh, what's the horsepower requirement? JCB should run the baler. start up on the north end up here. Get 
Come over a little bit. Oh, just don't cut my soybeans down. Oh no, you know what? I didn't do, I did it wrong. I didn't put the thing on this mower. Forgot you have to do that. To put the wind rower on, you have to pay for that extra. Luckily, I have a mobile shop. I can just do it right there. Thought I was going to have to sell it back and go buy another one. GPS on. We'll go east and west. And we'll do the auto width thing on my bopper. And turn the lines on. And uh, you know what? I got. I got. I got to do that. That's what I got to do. I'm making a mess, old man. It's okay. We'll get it cleaned up. Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. We're broke, but we're 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 going. One thing is the bushes. We're either gonna have to come in and just paint meadow grass or. Either way, we're going to have to paint, put meadow grass in there. We might as well just paint it in instead of bringing out a mulcher, you know, because we'd have to buy a mulcher. We'd have to cut the bushes out with a mulcher. We'd have to paint the ground because it cultivates the ground when you use the mulcher. Then you'd have to still plant the meadow grass when you can just paint the meadow grass over it and get rid of them. So I think we'll do that at some point. The other good thing is about having the, the fence tractor is you can raise and lower all tools with this tractor. You can't do it with the John Deere tractors in the game for some reason. I don't know why. It's got to be a, a, a like a glitch or something, but you cannot do it. I need my lines. Now, can you extend this mower? Is this one of the ones that you can extend and make it bigger? Save. Lurking again, Hurricane? Alright. Traxie's snoring. Nope, nope. Help window on. Okay, this is not. Hang on, let me switch the tools to make sure. No, this is not one that extends out, I don't think. Try to turn sharp here.
See if you get the uh, the trees cut around the fields, you can mow more, or you can expand your field. It doesn't matter, whichever one you want to do. Nope, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Here we go. That's what I want to do. This is going to be close. I might have to turn to the right a little bit down here. I don't know. Those trees stick out way far here. Yeah, maybe we'll be okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Yay. There's another contract done. So there's just a little extra money. We might not have to take a loan out. Maybe turn sharp though when you back up because the wheels in the back turn. Talk to me in December, alright. 
Did anyone expand honey production? Uh, no, I have. We haven't yet. Boy, these molars turn really sharp. Oh look, a random little tree out in the middle of the grass field here. Yeah, they're looking into doing pastures for cows. I think everybody's tired of just the little buildings and the little pens that hold the cows.
Yeah, that. There's no way to turn that off either, is there? That rear steering when you reverse. It's the only downside of these big mowers. fit through there. Nope. A little tree in the way. Trying to find an opening big enough to fit through. Well, I gotta put these little trees in here. So that's not bad. I mean, that's 1500 on hired worker, and we made, when you're talking about making over $100,000 on a field for a contract, that's not bad. It's worth, it's worth hiring the worker to do it. Oh yeah, I need to be careful here. This is taking out a little bit of that, a uh, little bit of that wheat there, or whatever that is. Looks like wheat. Take out a little bit of it here. 
So the mower does mow down the crop. Turn my lines back on. And get this lined up a little here. Hopefully to where I don't take out any crop. There we go.
think that ends a little narrow, so I'm not going to go that way. Too many trees there. Whoop, nope. So, I think that's it. That's all we own, right? Like I said, I'd like to get that field down south of the farm there. Yeah, that grass field, this field, and that field, that's all we own. I'd really like to pick this one up, field 8. But it's kind of expensive. It's $660,000. I mean, we could take a loan out and get it. Yep, we're less than an hour away from lunchtime. Let's see, oh yeah, this has got a lot of grass around it. Got sunflowers in it right now. Hmm, well, I could park here, go do some more contracts, and make a little more money and maybe make enough to buy this field. This is my fertilizer guy. Let's see, are there any FERC contracts out there? I'm sure there are. Hit the refresh button, see what we get. There's a 51... Oh, did I hit a button? I guess I hit a button, didn't I? Just saw the background moving. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do field four. Got some good spraying ones here. So this is the furt guy. Where am I going on the furt? Take the furt guy to 51. That's just right down the road. Nice.
Oh wow, look how close these trees are to this field. Dude, they're like right up on the crop. One of them's almost in the crop. Look at this. That's crazy. We're going to have to get like right on the money with the GPS on this. Let's see. Uh, we want to go north and south, and we want to hit this button right there, and then come out here, and then we'll back up because we're stuck in between a tree there. Probably wouldn't hurt just to get inside one of the rows there. With that blue line. One row ain't going to hurt, I guess. All right, fertilizing the field. I'll we'll stay with it until we get past these trees here, cause boy, look at that! This guy. Take him on up. I wonder, is there an opening down here? Somewhere? Because he's going to 53, right? Or are we? Are we going to 4 or 53? Hang on. Let me look. Afternoon, how's it going? Whoa. Well, there's a road here, so that's a good sign, I guess. No, the road dead ends. That's not a good sign. When I stroll into the wild, wild west, when I bounce into the wild, wild west, you know it's strange. That's what I, that's the song I've had in my head ever since I saw this map was released. You know, the Wild Wild West song by Will Smith. Um, there is a guardrail there, isn't there? Or no? No, there's not. Okay, never mind. 
I'm gonna cross the interstate. Do da do da. I'm gonna go. Ooh, I almost got hit by a car. Da do da day. I was gonna say, if we buy the interstate, maybe that should be like the first piece of property we buy because we can mow all that grass in between the in the median there. Just take the front mower and mow with the front mower. You hear chainsaws running in the background in real life or what? Flowers growing in the middle of the road. I hear chainsaws run, trees fall down, all the sawdust in a shade of brown, and I think to myself, oh how I want a log. And I think to myself, oh, I want a love you. <laughs> Are your chainsaws on the map? I didn't hear any. Unless you're here in the future. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you hear the future? Scroll and do the wild wild west. When I'm about to do the wild wild west. I'm probably saying the wrong words, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'll that. I got another guy. Oh, I never did bring that truck up there. Bring this guy over there too. Think of the potential in the money. <laughs> we're gonna get into logging. We're just we're waiting. We're we're gonna wait for the update from Kaz. He's supposed to um, optimize the map a little better. Uh, work on some of the shading issues and the flickering issues and stuff. Um, So yeah, we'll wait for that. Hopefully we can get that and things will be better. We got, I mean, you look at all these trees. Cutting down all these trees legit without a Brooks. Wow. It's going to be quite a task. I'll tell you that much. See, is this the field I'm in? Mm, yes and no. This is the one that fertilizer's in. I need to go to 53 to spray. Which is the next field over. Or nope, it's the next next field over. Uh, there is a Brooks out. I don't know where to find it, though. We don't have it. Yeah, there are a lot of fields here on this map. Um, uh, and you know, you look at, okay, you look at this little map here in the corner, right? You think, oh, well, you know, those fields are, you know, 
Some of them are small, some of them are, you know, you know okay size. No, 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 no. You take a look at, see field 44 up there in the northwest corner, and field 75, 74, 73, 46, all of that right there, just that corner. That is the size of Elm Creek. Yeah. So... Save game, and save game takes a minute too, so. Yep, we need to invest in a cultivator. Need to get all the contract stuff to do contracts. We've got sprayers, so I think we're good fertilizing and... Um, herbiciding now we need a cultivator plowing's turned off so that should not be an issue guess we could help do some fert stuff with these while we got them and then run run all the dry fert out of them and um sell these back if we're going to use the sprayers. I think the sprayers are probably the way to go since we have that nice um, I hate to call it OP it's not really that OP um, enhanced no that sounds like something else um, boosted maybe? I don't know Is the sprayer on F4? F4? On 54? What? Is the sprayer on F4 is spraying herbicide instead of FERT? Uh, this guy is spraying fertilizer here in 51 ish. Yeah, 51. This guy is spraying herbicide as he should be on 53. And this guy's spraying herbicide on 53, as he should be. So, no, everybody's doing what they field for. Uh, there's nobody on field four yet. That's where I was taking the, um, the tractor here. I'm going to get these guys running. Try to get this solid furt run out, because I think we're going to sell these back and stick to spraying furt, liquid furt, and liquid herbicide. I'm going to take this down to field four. Oh, yep, there's some flickering issues right there. <laughs> At that intersection, that looks like that's underwater almost. It's flickering so bad. But there is an update coming to this map, so... Old man going to join you? He's here. Say hi, old man. Hi. <laughs> He's here. He's out there uh, bailing and, I guess, bailing still. Oh uh, yes, that's still yep. bailing. Yeah, I mowed quite a bit. Look at these look at these large fields with all this grass around them. You know I'm gonna mow a little bit. <laughs> he says hi. Like we got a building over here. This wasn't here before. Let's see what this is. Hey Matt, just remember in that Caveo, uh, mm -hmm. we still have uh, solid fur there too. Okay, so we need to use that up too then. Yeah, uh, I think there's four more hoppers full. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is. It's a sale point of some kind. What is this? Oh, this is a biogas heating plant. So I guess you could take wood chips here maybe. Okay, what's this over here next to it? Just a building. Doesn't serve a purpose. There's a lot of deer behind it.
when I stroll into the wild, wild west. Still in my head, guys. Alright, and let's save the truck with the stuff. Here it is, right here, okay. Take this over to field four, which is actually right here. Nice. So how did you put that pipe out? Um, like that? It should say pipe out, and then there's uh, one through six, I believe, positions. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fill this guy up when he gets down here. And position one is closest to the truck. Okay. Let's see, which side has the lights on it? I'm gonna turn my help on. Um Does it do it automatically? To change positions to the hoppers? I think so, Matt. Um, I'm not really sure. I think the positions is so when you do like vert in the first three and then like seed in the next. Okay. The back three. Uh, yeah, John, we'll be streaming at noon central time. So let's see here. I'm going to pull it under there. Turn, tractor. Nope. Come on. Let's back it under. Uh. How do you get it to start going? Is it already going? No. I got my pipe out. Open cover. I need to move it? You might have to back up a little bit more, Matt. I think it would give me the option to offload here. I'm on the trailer. Detach, open AI worker menu, select next tool. Doesn't need to be on the truck. Looks like you need to be in position two, three, or six. How do you switch it? It should be, uh, I don't know offhand. It's not giving me the option. Let me, uh, pipe out, close cover, and I need to hit O again. Okay. Okay, so it's it's the it's the pipe button then. So that closes it. Okay, so it's it's just the pipe button over and over again. Yeah. So that changes it. The 
Did that fail the tractor? Yep. Okay. Cool beans. Turn that back off. Hang on, his thing's open. Let me close that. There we go. Yeah, it's apparently it's uh, the, the pipe out. I thought pipe out button was just pipe out, like pipe in, pipe out, pipe in, pipe out. Apparently that changes your hopper option too there. So This field has heels in it. Did you finish, sir? Yep. There's some money. Um, sirs, sirs, sirs. Huh? This guy ran out. Okay, now you can go. over here uh, just that strip and he's not done with just that lift nope he's almost done he's at 99 and come over just here no, 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 no. I did the wrong button. There we go. Now we do it. Come on. Nope. Stay. Realign. Realign. No. Maybe he's not on. Uh, maybe I need to hit that and then that. Here we go. Now we're now we're cooking. Come on. Say I'm done. Say I'm done, say I'm done. Gotta make some money. Gonna buy a new field. Come on, tell me I'm done. It already did? No, it didn't. Oh, yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Done there. Well, look at this dip. Bet you I made it all right. Landed out here somewhere. Look at that. There's a big dip in this field. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with these. I can see that now. These things really like to uh, to slide. Do some parallel parking. Ski! <laughs> All right, let's see. He's still fertilizing. What kind of spraying contracts we got? I'm going to I'm going to get some more. I'm going to have to find the placeable uh oh man wait till it snows i'll be doing like 360 360s 360 uh i'm gonna have to find a placeable herbicide tank uh other than that i'm gonna have to go back to the shop to um Woo, there's a good one field 44 for 379 yes please Did we get any new fertilizing ones? Nope. Alright, so I need to take those guys and get some more um, herbicide. See, we're up to three. We're halfway there. We're up to three hundred thousand dollars. Whoa, we're halfway there. Oh, oh, driving in my sprayer. <laughs> Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Morning, fire shadow. Let's see, I need... Oh, can I drive over that car? Oh, snap. Can I drive over it? Oh! Hi! I drove over the car. They had some buses, you know, like city buses in China that uh, would drive over traffic. It was really weird. I think they still have them. Here's the shop. So let's see, I need 25 pallets to fill this thing up. Count it with me, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right. Takes that many pellets to fill this up. And I just spent a lot of our money on her side. <laughs> so... No, no, reverse. Uh, am I not close enough? Oop. Yeah, they just drive over traffic. It's really crazy.
so at $2,400 a pallet to fill this up. is sixty thousand dollars so when we get empty again when we put down our placeable we'll see what's cheaper and how much more it costs to put a placeable down I'm gonna try I think I'm gonna try the one in the mod hub and see there might be a 10 percent or 15 percent uh, like fee or something maybe so We'll start wrapping. Yeah, unless you want me to do something else. No, you can. It's fine. Okay. After I do this contract, we might have enough for that field, so... You know what? Are there any contracts on that field? What field is that? Field 8. I'll say, hang on. There might be a FERC contract. It's only got one stage of FERC on it. Yep, there's field 8. So we'll fertilize that one too. Looks like it doesn't have... Uh, weeds on it or anything Yeah, definitely gonna need a tank because watching having to do this, it only fills up 2,000 liters at a time, and there's 50,000 liters. So. So you have to hit that 25 times. Forty-four 
Oh, that's the big one up there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need both those guys up there. So... Get this one up there and get him started. I need to make a right at 52. After 52. Between 52 and 53.
I lost count. <laughs> um, still further up. Yep. Twenty-two. All right, that that's about right. So I got seventy-five hundred liters in here. So there might be a pallet or two left over. I've got to fill the truck up anyway. long save <laughs> all right let's see so this guy over here is at 79 percent done with field four uh we still got to hit field eight which is the field that we want and then we're spraying we're 10 percent on that one up there spraying it so so that's going to be the plan we're going to make enough money to buy field eight over there and then mow around it and bale it and wrap the bales 
Ooh, there's another good fertilizing one, 618,000. But we can't take it out because we're already full on our stuff. So we'll have to wait till uh, probably that guy gets done in field four. We need a contract on field 17. If we could get a contract on field 17, we would be probably set. I would imagine there should be a fertilizing or something down there. Some point soon. Hopefully we'll hit something on that. And uh, be able to make a little extra money. Well guys, by the time I get these last two in here, it's going to be time. So thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, probably back on Elm Creek tomorrow. And uh, maybe play uh, Tuesday or Thursday night on uh, back on here. We'll kind of we'll kind of alternate maybe between them and uh, see how that goes. Um, and then uh, yeah. Try not, we're going to try not to make too many changes to this map until we get the updated version of the map that uh, optimizes it a little better. But, uh, yeah, I think this will be a good one. I mean, we, we can work on it. Um, got plenty of time. We're only two months into... Uh, we're only two months into Farming Simulator 22 today, as Old Man pointed out earlier. Today's the 22nd, so it's exactly two months in to uh, Farm Sim... 22 to the day so make sure you check out john uh, he'll be streaming at noon central time ish today uh, twitch.tv slash puma plow and um yeah that's it i'm gonna grab me some lunch y'all i'm getting kind of hungry so as always remember you reap what you sow it's matt from the green arcade old man thanks for joining no problem we'll see y'all later